Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today we're talking about Ableton Live's Beat Repeat plugin. So first things first, I have Ableton Live open uh, session going with a loop already playing on track one. I'll go ahead and audition it so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's what the loop sounds like. I'll go ahead over here to my Ableton effects, which is this button here. I'll click on the triangle next to audio effects and I'll find beat repeat. I can either drag this on top of my track or into the audio effects section there. When I do so, beat repeat opens with its default settings. Let's talk about the settings. So the primary three components that you're usually going to want to be most uh, interested in are your interval, grid, and gate settings. Your interval setting is how often are you grabbing a piece of audio. <coughs> Excuse me. So right now we're saying grab a piece of audio every bar. Based on this grid setting is what chunk of audio is going to be repeated. So we're saying every bar grab a 16th note. The gate setting is how many times do you want to repeat what the grid setting is set to. So basically right now we're grabbing a piece of audio every bar. We're repeating a 16th note seven times. If I drag this down to four, you'll see in the visual display here that every bar we're grabbing a 16th note repeating it four times and it's going to sound like this you'll notice right now I'm in the mix setting what the mix setting does is it incorporates the original audio and mixes it with the beat repeat audio if I switch over to the insert setting what the insert setting is going to do is every time something is being repeated it's going to insert that audio in place of the original audio for that portion of time and then it will switch back to the original audio it will sound like so now if we just wanted to hear the repeated audio we can click on gate here imagine gate is a hundred percent wet setting if you will All right, typically I work in the insert mode. As we change this interval, it's going to change what, how often we're taking a piece of audio to repeat. We can offset what is being repeated, that chunk of audio. So right now it's happening on the first beat in the bar, the first 16th note because the grid setting is set so. If we wanna offset which 16th note is being grabbed, we can change this offset setting here. So we're saying every bar grab a 16th note in fact grab the um, <laughs> grab the one on the second beat basically right and repeat it four times so it could sound like so so just changing this offset setting we're coming up with totally different sounds next we have variation variation is a relation to the grid what variation does is it changes basically what the grid setting is um, uh, randomly. So if we increase this setting, it will sound like so. I believe the variation setting is a mod uh, multiplier to the grid setting. So every once in a while it's going to play 16th notes. Sometimes it's going to multiply that up or down by three, right? Next over here we have a filter setting. The filter setting is going to filter the, repeat, the repeated audio. So if we turn this on, we can adjust the frequency as well as the Q. The Q is how many frequencies within this setting are being selected. The higher the number, the more frequencies are selected based on your frequency setting. We turn this down, less frequencies are affected. I'll go ahead and put this to about two. I'll sweep the frequency spectrum as it's playing so you can hear the changes. So that's what the filter does. Next we have chance. Chance is how often uh, beat repeat is going to uh, actually play. So at 100% setting, beat repeat is always going to engage. If you turn this setting down below 100%, sometimes it's going to engage, sometimes it's not, based on whatever this setting is set to. So if you want something that sounds a little bit live and organic and sometimes stuff is kicking in, sometimes it's not, you'll play with this chance knob. This button right here for repeat, when you click this, it's going to hold whatever note based on your settings in he here are. So if we're playing the audio, and as soon as I let go, it stops repeating whatever I was holding it to repeat, right? 
Next, your pitch and pitch decay settings. These are in regards to whatever's being repeated. So right now, again, I'm gonna repeat every bar. We're grabbing a 16th note and repeating it four times. If we wanna change the pitch of the repeated notes which are set up in the gate, we can change them here. As we drag this up, you'll see that we're uh, bringing them down six semitones and you'll see the discoloration in this area here. It will sound like so. Now, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this offset back to zero. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna increase the gate, let's say to 12 sixteenths. I'm gonna drop the pitch down and I'm gonna increase the pitch decay just so you can hear what it sounds like over time. So that sounds pretty cool with the pitch decay, right? I'll go ahead and crank that back down to zero. Next we'll see volume and decay. The volume and decay are in reference to the repeated audio. If we want to lower or increase the repeated audio's uh, uh, level, we can do that here. If we turn this down, it will sound like so. Now this is a constant. If you notice, after the original piece of audio, the repeated audio is constantly minus 7 dB. I'll go ahead and put that back to zero. If we wanted to decay over time, we would change the decay setting. So cool, we got some stuff going on here, right? If you turn this up to 100%, what this ends up becoming is a stutter effect. And by moving the offset, we can choose what slices of audio we're going to be cutting in and out. So let's go ahead and play with that. So as you can see, we're creating an entirely different loop by cutting out some of the audio because we've turned the decay up to 100%. By adjusting the gate value is going to determine how much audio is being cut out. Because remember, this is repeated audio. But if we turn the decay up to 100%, we're saying, okay, you're gonna repeat it once and that's it, you're not gonna repeat anymore because it's 100% decay. So in effect, this gate setting is gonna be how much you're gonna slice out of it, right? Again, if you switch this back to zero, then this is gonna be how much it's gonna be repeated, right? So lastly, let me just repeat one more time. The interval setting is how often you are going to take a piece of audio and repeat it. Right now it's set to one bar. The grid setting is at what, uh, what note value do you want to repeat? So right now it's 16th notes. Our gate value is how many times do you wanna repeat whatever your grid value is set to. Of course, you can add variation to your grid value with this setting here. You can offset what portion of the interval is going to be triggering inside of your loop. You can change the chance, change your pitch, and uh, volume and decay of your repeated notes. You can mix it in, uh, this repeated information or repeated audio, mix it in with your loop. You can insert it or replace whenever something is being repeated with your loop. Or you can just hear the wet signal of your loop. And of course, add a filter to whatever is being repeated. One more thing I'll point out, this grid setting can be changed to all kinds of crazy things. If we turn this up and play, now that sounded pretty uh, horrible, but if we turn this up maybe to 30 seconds, we can come up with all kinds of different settings or different sounds. If we increase this pitch decay, maybe even the decay here, change this, uh, the grid to 1 48th notes, excuse me, the gate to 4 16ths, We can move the offset around. So obviously go ahead and play with this. By increasing this, this grid setting, you could grab really small slices of audio, repeat them drastically, have them decay. It's gonna sound phase-ish. or laser-ish, or alien effects-ish, you name it. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm out.